Hi. Um, I want to talk to you about this man conference we have coming up. I told you last week that we were going to give away um, a one free registration to a couple where the wife nominated her husband for being the manliest man. And it was tough because we had a lot of good nominations come in. I want to read to you the one that we selected. Um, and first of all, I'll tell you who it is. It's Brian Baldwin. Brian, are you in the service? He is? Brian, get up here. Hey, is your wife with you? Bring your wife. All right. All weekend, we've been waiting for Brian to show up. What's up, Brian? What? I'm lucky you did. I know you work weekends, right? Yeah, all right. Brian made it. All right. Come on. I want to read to you Missy's story of how her husband is the manliest man at Riverview. All right? She says, we raised chickens and had a couple of mean roosters that started picking on the kids. I called my husband at work one day very upset because the horrible rooster had scratched one of my kids and tried to attack me and I wanted it gone. He didn't get out of work that night until 10 p.m., but that didn't stop him. Butcher knife flashing in the headlights of the neighbor's car, beard blowing in the wind, he went straight out to the coop to defend us. By midnight, I had fresh chicken to make soup with, and my peace of mind was restored because the kids could once again play safely in the yard. He was and is my protector and provider, farmer style. <laughs> Brian Baldwin. So, Brian, I present to you the manliest man at Riverview Award. Clap for Brian. That's getting Come on, boss. There you go. All right. Now, as we were going through this, we decided there was one other award we needed to give. And this is the award for the most in need of the man conference. Um, <laughs> Bryant Russ, are you in this service? He was not in the last two either. He's not here either? All right, we're going to post this on his Facebook wall. Everybody who knows Bryant Russ, find him on Facebook and tell him about this. We are giving him the most in need of the Man Conference Award. I'll tell you why by reading his uh, submission. He says, my wife asked me to post this for her because her computer just broke. That's the first clue we're in trouble. When my husband Bryant and I were in Alaska on vacation, I twisted my ankle on a hike in the middle of the Denali National Park. Instead of calling for help, my husband picked me up and decided to carry me 60 miles back to camp. Halfway back, we ran into a pack of hungry grizzly bears. Bryant wrestled their chieftain and sent the sloth, yes, that is the appropriate term for a pack of grizzly bears, back to their den until he thought better of it and lured the bears into a false sense of security by wrapping himself in his manly beard and pretending to be one of them. <laughs> then he wrangled 12 of the bears and domesticated them, turning them into a team of sled bears, which he then used to compete the 1,049-mile Alaskan I did a rod, completing the race in three days, beating the previous record of eight days, and used the winnings to build orphanages in Africa, <laughs> all with me on his back with a sprained ankle, so yeah, he's pretty manly. <laughs> we decided that Bryant needed the conference because he is a bald-faced liar, <laughs> and so Bryant, we're going we're gonna to post this on your Facebook wall, and then... I would encourage all of you to come to the man conference, all, all the men, because we are going to take the entire conference to make fun of this dude, okay? <laughs> so we want you, and, and seriously, on February 9th, we have the man conference, and it's 10 bucks, including um, lunch, because that covers our costs. If you can't afford it, then it's free for you. Just anybody, we need to register at MW, that's man, woman, mw.riftchurch.com. Register there. A couple, married couple can go for 15 bucks. Uh, we'll cut the cost for you because we want all married couples to make it there. But if you're single or you're married, as long as you're 13 or older, we want you to come to those conferences. And we're just, we think it's going to be a fantastic time. So uh, guys, you get to hear us make fun of Brian. Women, you get to hear us love on that poor, poor wife of Brian's.